This video is the introduction into MEV in crypto. So MEV is maximal extractable value or minus extractable value. And it's a really interesting and really important concept that can make or break a blockchain. And some of the people are worried that MEV uh, can break Ethereum. So generally coming from the website of Ethereum itself, maximal extractable value is defined as the maximum value that can be extracted from block production in excess of the standard block reward and gas fees by including, excluding and changing the order of transactions in a block. What that means is that uh, sometimes by having transactions in a certain order, you can gain much more money. The simplest example of that is basically the sandwich. So both the front run and the back run at the same time, which means that, so for example, think about you want to trade, you want to exchange uh, if into some uh, token on Uniswap and you put a slippage, slippage 5%, which means that you allow 5% of the price movement. That's pretty much nowadays. But let's say you, you include that. Now, what will happen once you submit that transaction through Uniswap is that there are people who are, or actually bots who are looking at the mempool. So uh, all the transactions that are coming and to be accepted and they looking into how they can really get revenue from that, how they can make additional money. So in this case, if you put 5% of slippage, then there might be someone who actually will buy a token before you then you will come, you'll buy the token and then he will sell just after you. So uh, him buying will make the price go a little bit up, but below the 5% that you accepted in terms of a slippage, uh, then your transaction will come, which make will make the token go price go even more up. And then he will be able to sell for a premium. So this is the kind of MEV uh, when it comes to uh, sandwiching. The most common one, this one is pretty much optimized right now on Ethereum and there are different exchanges uh, which are specifically targeting this kind of problem. So for example, Matcha coming from Zero X uh, or Bebop in the making coming from Wintermute and a bunch of others as well. Uh, this is only referring to DEXs. So everything that's happening on chain, uh, it doesn't relate to uh, centralized exchanges like Binance, OKX and so on. There are other issues there, but uh, this is not the, the, the reason for this talk. So MEV is basically that. Uh, there's a bunch of other things. Uh, generally speaking, it's pretty technical. So if you want to earn money this way, uh, you really have to get into like the solidity, uh, plus be really good with software engineering and optimizing the code to really gain the value. Uh, so one of the teams that are thinking about MEV and how that can influence uh, Ethereum because uh, and also other chains as well is uh, Flashbots. Uh, the reason for them doing that is be because they have this idea that uh, actually MEV is kind of a centralizing power because the more you can extract uh, money from different transactions, uh, the bigger wallets you get, the more opportunities you will have and so on. So it's really important to some extent control uh, MEV and what people are doing. Uh, Flashbots uh, has uh, this kind of uh, client which allows you to send bundles to miners. So they're directly connecting people who are who want to do MEV uh, with miners. Uh, in this way, uh, act actually, you have some kind of a control over uh, over MEV. Plus, it's much easier to start doing MEV because the idea here is that the more people are doing that, the bigger is the competition, the better it is for the end users being that all the ordinary people who uh, want the, the lower prices, the lower fees, the lower slippage. Uh, so that's the thing. So if you haven't heard about either MEV or Flashbots, uh, now's the time, uh, go to flashbots.net and just check out some of the works. They have really amazing texts, articles, uh, they organize workshops, there's really good uh, sources online, also on YouTube right now. Uh, really a lot of interesting people talking with, with about a lot of interesting stuff. So really recommend that. Uh, if you're thinking about becoming a blockchain developer, that's something you really must uh, understand in order to uh, get into blockchain development. So yeah, that's a, like a very introduction to the MEV. Let me know what you think. Uh, subscribe to the channel, leave a like and comment for more content like that in the future. Thank you and goodbye.